what is going on guys welcome to this episode of let's play the classics um today's episode guys we're gonna play a true classic in every sense of the word we're gonna play super mario land for the nintendo game boy uh and for those of you that don't know what a game boy looks like it looks like this it's like five times bigger than your stupid iphone but uh <laughs> super mario land was was probably the first mario game that we played on a handheld that most of us actually got to play on a handheld um and you know game boy's fully portable and th this was just amazing uh the game boy's limitation really was always that it wasn't color or backlit or anything like that but a lot of the games i thought in my opinion um translated to the game boy fairly well for what it was and the the sound chip in the game boy is actually pretty good so there's some really good songs um, especially in this game, some tunes and things like that. So we are going to play this bad boy. So you guys stay there and you enjoy. Okay, hope you guys got a good seat. Oh yeah, we all remember that sound. Hope you guys can see it. All right. How you guys doing? Not work? Not working? Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. All right, that's not going to work. Um, we could play on the greatest accessory of all time, the Game Boy Advance player, the Game Boy player for the Nintendo GameCube, but we're not going to do that. In today's episode, we're going to play Super Mario Land in the Super Game Boy on the Super Nintendo. It's like three times the super, so you can't go wrong with that. Oh, and by the way, stay tuned after we roll credits, before we, we cut the scene and we get out of here for the day. Uh, we're going to play around with the Super Game Boy. So those of you guys that have never seen a Super Game Boy in action, um, we'll show off some of the features of that, some of the color schemes and the backgrounds and things that you can do with that. And then at the end, what I did was I hooked, well, you'll see. I put Mario Land in the Super Game Boy, the Super Game Boy with another attachment, and put that attachment in the Super Nintendo, and it created kind of a really cool glitch that is going to make Game Glitch Guy G3 really jealous, and I might actually take the top spot as the number one glitch hunter on the interwebs, you know, because I found this all by myself, and I didn't research it at all one bit before I did it, so... All right, guys, hope you enjoy this episode of Let's Play the Classics, Super Mario Land. All right, let's try this again. Here we go. All right, guys, today we are going to play a true classic. Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. Wow. I would say this is probably in my top five Game Boy games. One of the things I always uh, liked about this game is it kind of it stays true to you know Mario and stuff, but uh, some of the enemies are different, and like there's no flag at the end. If you go to the lower door, you just go to the next level. If you can get to the higher door, then you go to like a bonus stage. But I always thought it was kind of cool, but. Thank you. 
One of the things I never really uh, liked about this game was that Mario just didn't quite feel like Mario, like the, the precision in the control wasn't there. Um, you know, he's got that kind of slippery feel to him, kind of like Mega Man did in the first Mega Man game. I remember when I uh, first found out that that elevator was there, that there were elevators, and it blew my mind. I was like, man, this is crazy. And the, uh, the fireballs, they like, they bounce, which is kind of cool. They like, bounce off walls and stuff. And then uh, you can use it to like, collect coins. Yeah, so what's up with that, right? Like, uh, now it's Daisy, and then it was Peach and Pauline. I'll tell you what, man, Mario goes through them. Goes through the ladies. I think Mario's my dad. Try to go too fast. There's actually, if you're if you're small Mario, there's like a little invisible bridge right there. And if you're small Mario, you can just like run through it. So there, there's your your fun tip of the day. Yeah. 
thought there was a star in there. Boost off of here. Yeah. Yeah, this game's not too long. Um, it's four levels, three le or two, four worlds, three levels per world. Ah, this is why I love this game right here. These shooter stages. I wish there were more of these. Now you can only have like three shots on screen at one time. So you want to kind of stay... I try and stay like right here about 60%. I will say this about the Game Boy. Um, you know, it's revolutionary yet for its time and all that stuff. But uh, a lot of the music from Game Boy games is really good. If you, if you think about, you know, the technology of the Game Boy. Um, the fact that they can get some of these great songs on these games is amazing. Like you even saw the, you know, the Mega Man games for Game Boy. The music doesn't suffer that much because it's on Game Boy. I mean, sure, it's a little bit limited, but yeah, it still sounds great.
Ah. I think this is the hardest part of the game. Because um, some of these require like precision jumps. And uh, because of Mario's less than perfect control, it just makes it a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. No! That's my strategy. That's part of the strategy I meant to do that. I wanted to show you guys what not to do right there in that situation. So I hope you learned something. Controller's fault. Sorry, I try not to waste too much time in these tubes, but uh, looking looking for power ups.
Oh. Here's my strategy for beating this guy. Take the hit. Just run right past him. <laughs> I think what you're supposed to do is jump on the boulder and then get a running start and jump on that ledge right there. But, uh, yeah, why? Really? I mean... Pause it for a second, and uh, we'll get the dad off the phone, and we'll finish this bad boy up. All right, guys, uh, before we finish this up, I just want to remind you to uh, stick around after the credits. We're going to mess around with the Super Game Boy a little bit, show off some of the features of that. And then I found a glitch that would make Game Glitch Guy G3 very, very excited. Although I hope it's not too excited that he wants to play another Mario game with his excitement. So stay tuned, we'll check that out. Cause it's pretty awesome. You gotta watch those jumpy guys, they don't die when you stomp on them. That was awesome. That's a, that's exactly how you don't get the extra life. So I make it. All right, check this out. If you just go down there. It takes all those cannons and that enemy out. Just by going down the tube. Who knew?
All right, best stage in the whole game, man. I love this. But you guys, you guys know how I like my my shmups, my shmups, my shmups. Dirty whore.
Uh -oh. There we go. It was crazy as a kid, you know, I didn't think this was the last level because I was always waiting for like Bowser. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool that the game actually ended with that, sh with that shoot em up stage, so. Oh, Daisy Daisy. I tell you what, man. Mario's got it going on, man. All right, like I said, guys, uh, you know, we'll, we'll let the credits run, and then uh, we'll mess around with the Super Game Boy. I'll show off that glitch thing that I found, which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, we'll roll credits in and get out of here. It's nice uh, finishing music for a game, you know, for, especially for a Game Boy game. I know I talked about that, but uh, Yes, Taki, definitely special thanks to you, homie. Appreciate your hard work and dedication. Down for whatever. Alright guys, that is it. All we have to do is hit the start button, we'll come back to the, the main screen. Um, just in case anybody cares, after you've beaten the game, um, if you feel, feel good about yourself, you can actually play the game and it'll add in enemies. So like, uh, some of these turtles weren't, weren't there before, like this guy wasn't there before, some of these guys weren't down there. Um, the, yeah. Like I said, some of the enemies just are different but uh all right so in the super game boy you're playing with the um super nintendo controller you hit both shoulder buttons at the same time to bring up the menu all right and here's our cursor now we'll start with uh, the control pad right in the middle just basically it'll let you uh, choose which controller type you like that's pretty self-explanatory uh the little frames here you can actually change the backgrounds. And for those of us that actually grew up with the Super Game Boy, um, <laughs> you know, it'll bring back some nostalgia for you. There's a theater theme. Yeah, there we go. Kitty, kitty. Meow. So there's some different backgrounds. Um, if you go back, we'll go over to the uh, where these four squares are right here. Now, the game automatically has a, a color scheme assigned to it, but you can change the color scheme. <laughs> I'm sure that, that's real appealing right there. There we go. I guess that's Luigi. But, uh, yeah, there's four different rows that you can choose from, and there's all these different color schemes. You know, depending on what you want. Now, we can do... If we go to the paintbrush... Well, see, because the color palette only will allow you to have four colors. But say we wanted, like, uh, this blue, all the white stuff will turn blue. <laughs> About uh, straight yellow on where the black areas are. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's do this nasty orange color. We'll put that where the green is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, perfect. Perfect. And uh, the last thing that we can do here is we can go over to where this little drawing area is. <laughs> and we can uh, grab our pencil and we can let's just use straight, straight black. But we can do like uh, 
can write on it, write on our, our Mario screen. Now in this view, it won't let you write on the actual game screen, but if you go down to here and click that, <laughs> it'll let you write on the game screen. So yeah, let's get out of here. Let's play some Super Mario World. Oh, doesn't that look fun? All right, guys. Last thing I got for you: just stick around, watch the uh, the glitch thing with the. Uh, what well, am I even gonna tell you? I'll just show it to you. All right, guys. Check this out. This is what I did. I actually just kind of was uh, gonna be an, a smart ass here. I get the Super Mario Land in the Super Game Boy, in the Game Genie for Super Nintendo, in my Super Nintendo, and uh, yeah, I just thought it was gonna be like a wise ass and you know, do whatever, but I uh, actually found a pretty cool glitch. So as you can see, the timer is like running real slow. This thing is running at like one fourth speed. So we hit the jump button. Yeah, Mario just can't, you just can't get up anymore. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode of Let's Play the Classics with Super Mario Land, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.